Hello everyone, I hope you're having a good day or a good night, whatever time it is over there. And I'm very glad that you're back to my channel. And today I'm really excited to talk about the Chestnut Air Plus alongside with the Millennium Chess Genius from Millennium. So I have these two boards I will show you right here. And I'm going to make some minor comparisons and give you some feedback about these boards, these e-boards e I'm talking about the electronic chess boards. So here they are. I have them side by side. This board is the Millennium Chess Genius. And here is the Chestnut Air Plus. So this board is relatively newer, the Chestnut Air Plus. The Chess Genius from Millennium has been out for, I think, a few years now. And this was my first board that I had prior to the Chestnut Air Plus. I've been using the Ch Millennium Chess Genius for a few years already and this was one of my favorite chess boards ever to be part of my collection and I'm very, I'm very excited today to actually make some relevant comparisons between these two boards and of course give you some useful insights about these boards. We will also check out some dimensions. So this board is bigger than the Chestnut Air Plus, as you can see. These are the um, pieces for the Chestnut Air Plus. First, I want to talk about the dimensions about these two boards. As you know, you can see that this is bigger. But what is interesting about this is that, well, for the Air Plus, you can see that if I put this board on top of the Millennium Chess Genius, it works out like this. So it seems as though that the actual playing area of the Chess Genius from Millennium is the actual size of this board, the Millennium, sorry, the Chess Chestnut Air Plus. So isn't that interesting? It seems as though this playing area is the same size as the Chestnut Air Plus. And of course, therefore, the squares for the Chestnut Air Plus are smaller. I have my ruler here. So I'm going to check the dimensions right now. Each square of the Chestnut Air Plus works out to be 3.5 cm. Let me just confirm that. 3.5 cm by 3.5. Yeah. 3.5 cm by 3.5. That's for the Chestnut Air Plus. Now, if you look at the Chess Genius from Millennium, it works out to be 4 cm. 4 cm by 4 cm. So the squares of the Chess Genius are slightly bigger than the Chestnut Air Plus. And so therefore, of course, this playing area does cover this entire playing board, including these bezels along the sides. I don't know what you call these things, but yeah, the frame, the frame of the Chestnut Air Plus board this must have a larger frame, but let's check it out. So yeah, roughly about 3.5, 3.5 and this is 2 cm. Okay, 40, 40 cm, 40 cm by 40, 40 by 40, and for the Chestnut Air Plus, 33 cm, yeah, 33 cm, 33 by 33. There's the Millennium logo on the Chess Genius. The thickness of this board comes to about 2.2 cm. I hope you can see that. Comes to about yeah, 2.2 cm roughly. 2.2 cm. That's for the 
Millennium. Millennium chess genius. What about the chess not air plus? Comes to about one point, um, yeah, one point eight roughly, just under two cm. In terms of the wooden grain, as you can see, for the chestnut air plus, they leaned to a lighter, well, uh, a wooden texture that is much lighter than the chess genius so this has a lighter texture to it whereas the chess genius has a darker wood texture to it both feel pretty much similar although i think in my opinion that the chestnut air plus feels quite smoother than this there isn't really a significant difference they're very similar but when i'm holding them i feel like this feels more like a really nice premium product in my hands that is the chestnut air plus it is quite heavy heavier than the chestnut air plus that may have to do with the size of the board as well in terms of the internals what is inside of these boards the chestnut air plus has bluetooth capabilities already inside the board so you are able to connect your mobile phone directly to the Chestnut Air Plus, whereas for the Chess Genius from Millennium, it is a modular chess board, so you have to you have to actually attach or connect a Bluetooth module, a Bluetooth unit. This is the Millennium Chess Link that you will need need to um, connect to the board. Can you see it right there? Yes, Millennium. So you will have to have this connected to the Millennium unit, the Chess Genius, in order to connect your phone to the board. Whereas for the Chestnut Air Plus, this has an added benefit. Everything is already integrated inside the board, so you don't need any external unit to connect to this board. So that's one advantage of the Chestnut Air Plus. One added benefit is the fact that we don't need to have all of these cables dangling all around so with these units, these, mo these units that you will have to buy separately for the Chess, chess ge Genius from Millennium, if you have these cords connected and all tangled all around, it may interfere with your gameplay. It's just what I think because you may have these on the sides of the board and you will have to move and rearrange everything, which can be a hassle. So I think that for the Chestnut Air Plus, this is an added benefit. Again, there are no cords attached. You will only need to recharge it. So that's the only single cord that you will have along the side, but you will not be charging it all the time. And this actual board, I must say, the Chess Genius from Millennium has no battery inside. So you will have to connect this board to an adapter. Uh, that, we, that is the Chess Genius adapter or you can get a separate device such as the battery here that you can also buy from Millennium. This is the Millennium Power Bank. So with this Millennium Power Bank, you can actually turn your Chess Genius Millennium to a portable device. You can just connect this, this end, the core, this end of the power cord to this Millennium Bluetooth, should, should you want to play with chess.com and, and play online. So it's, it's an added benefit for you if you want to play in the park or anywhere outside, you will have to have this power bank alongside with the Chess Genius, which again can be cumbersome to carry because you will have to carry an additional unit with you every time you go out. However, this power bank can hold a lot of juice. I would say perhaps up to 12 hours of gameplay. So that's really a great feature of this unit. There is a lot of capacity for this battery power bank that you have right here. There are four indicators right there. So four indicators when it's fully charged and this holds a lot of power. So 
you won't have to recharge it quite frequently. But if you want to just play with the Chess Genius standalone, you will need to connect it through a wall socket. So you, it needs power to run, there is no battery inside of it. What is inside the Chess Genius board actually? Well, mostly just LED, LEDs. So the LEDs are indicated on each square and each LED is shown in every square, I mean every corner, sorry. In every corner of each square, there is an LED. Whereas for the Chestnut Air Plus, the LEDs are hidden under the surface of each square and there is, there is only one dot. So that is perhaps on the top right hand corner if it's on my side. So in one corner of each square there is one red dot. So in my previous video I also mentioned some issues regarding viewpoints. So if you are to find which piece you want to move there may be a disadvantage for you if you are looking at a certain angle and you cannot find that piece or it may interfere with your gameplay because if you're looking at a certain angle you are unsure which piece to move you will have to look around and move your head up or to the side in order to find those LEDs the Millennium company decided to go with a modular system rather than having everything integrated inside the board. So this is one, I would say one caveat. So there can be an actual, there can be an actual advantage or disadvantage to this. Some may speculate and say that there is a disadvantage or an advantage. Chestnut has done a great job with the Chestnut Evo LEDs. So the Chestnut Evo LEDs are magnificent. They are really great and spot on. I would actually go with those, the Chestnut Evo LEDs over the Chestnut Air Plus and the Chess Genius. However, if you are willing to play on a board that is not too technical or customizable, you just want to go ahead and play a game and simplify your process, simplify the process of setting up the board and getting things done, I would say that the Chestnut Air Plus is an ideal great board as well and for the chess genius from millennium you can actually connect it directly to the chess.com app whereas for the chestnut series besides the evo you actually have to use the chestnut app and play through chess.com that way you can't just use the chess.com app i did try it before however it doesn't seem to be working if it's working for you do let me know in the comments and i will i will go back to that and try it out again. So that's the Chestnut Air series, Chestnut Air Plus and the Millennium Chess Genius from Millennium. So you can see and compare how these two stack up. In terms of portability and ease of use, I believe that Chestnut has done a great job with the Chestnut Air Plus and also the Chestnut Go. So these two boards are really great for setting up and playing right on the go because you don't need to go through the process of having to connect all of these modules. Um, the Chess Genius Pro from Millennium decided to go for a more module design, a more modular design. I'll be making further videos along the road with these eboards. I hope you find this video useful and I hope to see you in the next one. So do tune in and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.